to the very latest now in the recovery efforts in Humboldt County after that 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit earlier this week. Roads are starting, starting to reopen and water and power is being restored to those areas that were hit the hardest. The latest numbers show two died in the quake and at least 17 were hurt. And this morning we're joined by Humboldt County Sheriff William Hansel to talk more about that situation. Sheriff Hansel, thanks for being with us. Overall, how would you say recovery is going? Recovery is going remarkably well. You know, we've received a lot of uh, resources here in the in the county from the state and local, and a lot of the communities just come together. And uh, so, we um, you know we had power issues, we had water issues, we had uh, issues with our highways and roadways, and all those things seem to be cleared up by late afternoon and early evening. So, uh, so we're on a on a good path right now. So a number of residents, at least 30 of them, and one commercial structure have been determined structurally unsafe. Could you describe some of the extent of the damage that you and your crew have seen? Yeah, for sure. So it has been widespread damage, but mostly out of Rio Del, we see several houses that have just knocked off their foundations. And uh, so they've completely just been red tagged and unoccupiable, and it's just been, uh, uh, you know, truly tragic for a lot of families. So far we have 30, but we have over half of the homes still need to be inspected in the town of Rio Del. And we still have county structures and also other areas that we need to also inspect. So it's, it's going to be a, a long haul here for sure. And Sheriff, that's one of the things I was going to ask. Did you anticipate the number of injuries and even the amount of damage to go up? Absolutely. We are just now doing our initial damage assessments. You know, we're going to just do some estimates over the next couple of days, but that that those assessments are definitely going to go up. There's going to be a lot of damage reported to us and then we will report that damage to the state. Now we know that there is a boil water advisory currently in effect. Do we have an idea yet about how long this could last and how the quake impacted the water system overall? Yeah, the water system in, in the town of Rio Del has been significantly impacted. So the good news is, is 50% of the customers now have water, but they're still under a boil water uh, advisory due to just the contaminants that are in there. It's going to be like that for a little while because they have to just fully get their, their system up to date and pressurized and also storage tank issues. There's major damage to the storage tank. And though they've patched it, they still need to repair it um, and, uh, and maybe even get a new one. So they're going to be working on this for weeks, if not months. You told us that you anticipate the number of damage uh, to go up. We know that there have still been a number of aftershocks, possibly even others. How are you telling people to handle those and to prepare for the possibility of more? Yeah, so we always have to be prepared. So right now we want to stabilize things as much as possible. But we want to prepare for the next one. So everything we do is, is you know, we want to make sure that we have fuel on hand, we have food on hand, we have things that we can sustain ourselves for at least three days. That's the goal here because as we know, yeah, it's it's response and recovery is, is, is really difficult in our rural remote areas for sure. Yeah, so I know that your area is, this is not a unique situation. You've had to deal with responding right. to earthquakes before, obviously. But how do you and your deputies prepare for an event quite like this? Yeah, so it's difficult because, you know, a lot of times, obviously, we all have families as well. So we have to, we have to balance that. Oftentimes, we just stabilize things at home and then we're out helping the community. And so the first thing we tell our deputies is prepare your homes. Make sure you harden your target, you prepare your families to know that you have to stabilize things and then you're off helping the communities. It's not only law enforcement, but it's first responders, EMS. Uh, nurses um, and uh, and public works officials. All of us are on the same boat. We have to get out there. We have to repair infrastructure. We have to respond to the emergency needs of our communities. And, uh, and that's the main thing. Well, Sheriff Hansel, we appreciate what you guys are doing. I know the people there in Humboldt County appreciate you as well. We thank you for being with us this morning. And we are definitely thinking a lot about you uh, and all of the people there in Humboldt County and hoping for a speedy and complete recovery.